over the years, more than 80% of the forest cover is destroyed in the country and now only 20% is remaining. The island of Sri Lanka is at the forefront of the battle against climate change. Mangrove forests form green belts around much of the island nation. These thick mangrove areas sequester very high amounts of carbon, three to five times more than other tropical forests, and thus play a crucial role in ameliorating global warming. Saving and replanting mangroves here will have profound environmental effects around the world. Mangroves are also important to the people of Sri Lanka because they act as a buffer from tsunamis, hurricanes, and other natural disasters. Mangrove habitats also lead to healthier coral reef fish populations, a breeding ground for life. They provide juvenile fish with protection until they are ready to move to coral reefs. And they are a bountiful means of livelihood. The mangroves are the great vital trees for the fish folk. The sacred trees because their livelihood is completely dependent on the mangrove trees. But in the past 50 years, half of the world's mangroves have been destroyed. Many have been cut for firewood, destroyed by shrimp farming, encroached for development. In Sri Lanka, a brutal civil war devastated over a third of Sri Lanka's mangrove forests. The 25-year war ended in 2009. So, Anu, this area we're walking on right now, you mentioned was all mangrove forests. Uh, why was it cut down? Something to do with the war? This area is uh, severely affected uh, by the war. And uh, the LTT was hide out because of the and, and the LTT is the Tamil Tigers? Tamil Tigers. Okay, so the government destroyed this so the Tamil Tigers couldn't hide in couldn't this hide forest. Out, right, yes. And part of the program that Seacology and the Fishers Federation has, right, we're going to replant this, this area. area it yeah. seems to me that this is a doubly important time to work to preserve mangroves. First, the Civil War is now over, which is exciting news all around the country. And secondly, when a war ends, it's a great time for development, but that's the time you need to protect. What's the right? With the people, we have to protect right. this time. Seacology is working with Sudisa, an organization of fisher folk, to protect all of the mangroves around Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's government fully supports the project. This will be the first time in history that a nation protects every single one of its mangrove forests. The plan is simple. Villages pledge to replant and protect their local mangroves. And in exchange, Seacology funds microloans to women to help them earn a living. 1,500 villages ringing the whole island will take part. As the reforestation process begins, in the nearly 10,000 acres of devastated areas like these, the villagers planting and protecting the mangroves need to earn money. These are all members of Sudisa. Since 1997, thousands of people have completed job training with Sudisa's microfinance loans, ranging from $40 to $500. They can start their own businesses, from agriculture to retail. Seacology's Sri Lanka Mangrove Conservation Project will offer microfinance opportunities to an additional 15,000 people who live adjacent to mangrove forests.
අපිට කල්ලාන පරිසරයෙන් එන ඒ පුළඟ කොච්චර පෑවිල්ලා තිබුණත් අපිට ගොඩක් සිසිලක් ගෙනත් දෙනවා දැන් මේ හැරිය නම් අපිට මම හිතන්නේ පහුගිය අවුරුදු 10යිටයි සර අවුරුදු 10 යි බලපුවාම පහුගිය අවුරුදු 10 වෙච්ච දේවල් එක කළා කරපු දේවල් එක කළා තා අවුරුදු 15ක් මේක සිකුරු ජයතනත් එක කළා වර්තනා කිරීමත් මොකද කරුවොත් මම හිතන්නේ අපිට පුළුවන් කමක් තියෙ ලංකාවේ සියලුම කරලවන් නැති වෙලා තියෙන තැන්වල විනාශ වෙලා තියෙන තැන්වල හිටවලා හොඳ කරලවන් පරිසරයක් පත් වෙන නිර්මාණය කරා මම මම ලාංකේක වශයෙන් මම දැන් මේ කරන කාර්ය බාරය සම්පූර්ණ ලංකාව වටේම කරපුවාම මට දැනෙනවා සතුටක් මම ලංකාවේම තියෙන කරලවන් පරිසරයක් පත් ආරක්ෂා කරන්න ආයතනෙත් එක්ක යම් දෙයක් කරුවා කියලා සතුටක් ලැබෙනවා